Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you. You talking about boxing for all my boxing heads out there, man. Um, another great fight. An another great weekend of fighting, man, boxing. Last week, we just had um, Sergey Kovalov, Andre Ward uh, for that light, uh, 175 light heavyweight title, man. Uh, not for all the belts. Donna Stevens and Superman, he's still out there. But great weekend of boxing, man. This We got another good one coming up. Um, you guys know my channel. I'm not familiar. I'm not too good at pronouncing names. Vasilya Lomachenko. I'm going to call him Lomachenko. <laughs> Lomachenko versus the Axe Man, Nicholas Walters. Good fight. Good fight, man. You like to see the best, some of the best fighters in the division fighting each other. You know what I mean? You know, the war, Kovalev, pound for pound fighters fighting. That's why you love the sport. That's why you love boxing, man. But anyway, should be a good fight, man. Lomachenko, Nicholas Walters at 130. Uh, b both guys have advantages, you know. In my opinion, um, Lomachenko, you know, definitely the more skillful fighter, no doubt. Hand speed, athleticism, foot speed, footwork. You know, they call him the Picasso of boxing. He's beautiful to watch. You know what I mean? Like a painter doing their, you know, I me mean? doing their thing. It's beautiful to watch, man. For the for the purest, you know. Uh. Uh, his amateur career, amateur career speaks for itself. I mean, the World Amateur Championships were 2007, 9, 11. Won, um, uh, won the gold medal in our 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Won gold again in 2012 in London. I mean, great amateur grab bound career, man. Amateur career was so good. I mean, he, he won it. He, I say he demanded, but, you know, he kind of argued with the WBO that his first pro fight be a his mom um, he fights for a world title. Uh he fought for an interim title, then his second fight with Salido was for a world title, but he lost a close fight, great fight, split decision. But Salido was the whole weight issue, things like that. So but just great amateur career, great skillful fighter, footwork, hand speed, athleticism, foot speed, I mean it's it's beautiful it's boxing for the purest. You know, uh a few things that I, I know with, with Lomachenko, what he does so well, of him being southpaw, you know, you fight a lot of orthodox fighter, fighters, and his lead foot, you know, his, uh, his right foot is his lead foot, and you fight a south, you fight orthodox, their lead foot is, is, their, is their left foot. He keeps his just on the outside. That's what you're looking for, you know what I mean? Just on the outside, you know, you can throw that blind left foot, they, they don't see it coming. He does that beautiful. You know, just just beautiful. His last fight I seen uh, with Mark Rocky Martinez, he threw the left hand straight down the middle. When I mean, the left hand landed, you know what I mean? He stepped. You know, your lead foot determines your range. You know what I mean? That's what the lead foot does. You know what I mean? Um, the location. The rear, the back foot is the angle. You know what I mean? And when he landed the left hand, he just kind of rotated the... The, the back foot and completely had the whole angle on uh, on Rocky Martinez. It, it was just beautiful boxing, man. He does that so well, man. He's able to... There's a difference between having great foot speed and having great footwork. Manny Pacquiao has a made... I obviously use him. Matt Pacquiao has great foot speed. Very fast. But his footwork is terrible. There's a difference. Fast feet, but his footwork is terrible. Doesn't know how to cut the ring off. He 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 moves around, jumping around with no purpose. And that's why he lunges sometimes with his left hand and he gets countered. You know, with Lomachenko, he's able to use his footwork because the, the the footwork determines distance and angle. You, that back foot gives you the angle. Able to just so subtly change the angle on you for defensive purposes, but at the same time, be on balance and have enough footwork to counter punch and, and, um, and fire off his shots as well. That's when you have good footwork. You're able to stay on balance. You know what I mean? Your body works in continuity. It's all together. Your hands, your feet, everything works well together. That's when you have great footwork, man. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Picasso, man. It's beautiful to watch, man. Guys like Lomachenko, Rigondeaux, Floyd Mayweather, they're able to stand right in front of you, right in the pocket, and you still can't hit them. You know what I mean? Um, 
this great defense, man. He he has to go along with his 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 hand speed, impeccable timing. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of that comes with experience. You know, I'm pretty sure in that, his type of amateur career, he saw a lot of different styles. Great timing. You know what I mean? Um, just it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch, man. And usually with a guy who he can control the uh. The um the, the range with the, with the lead foot on the outside has a hand speed advantage, the foot speed advantage, the more skillful fighter, you know, be all of these things. You're like he's got to be the favorite. It should be an easy win, and usually it is. You know, maybe maybe it play out that way. But X Man Nicholas Walters, he has advantages as well. Does he got the height advantage? Like an inch height advantage. He has almost almost an eight inch almost an eight inch reach advantage. Eight inches. That's pretty significant in boxing. Now, Walters doesn't have a great jab, but when you have eight inches, I would recommend you use the jab. His jab might be key. You know, um, I know Lomachenko does a lot of movement, footwork, and all that, but if a guy still has an eight-inch reach advantage on you, you know, he's steadily sticking that jab out at you, you know, it could be tough to, you know, to get inside and land your shots, you know what I mean? His footwork could really have to use his footwork to get inside. He won't lunge like Pacquiao will. He has the patience, the head movement. He jabs as well. Footwork. He use those, a combination of those things is how you get inside of a guy who has a longer reach. But you got to have patience to do that. Patience. And Lomachenko definitely has that. And then Walters doesn't have a great jab, but still with almost an 8-inch reach advantage, man, jab. <laughs> you know, jab all night. Now he, you know, he was fighting a southpaw, and you know, when you, be careful because you say Lomachenko has the faster hands, and he has great timing. Now he could be like the situation how Pacquiao did Mayweather. He tried to jab, he splits the jab. You know what I mean? He's the, the left hand right down the middle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Buck Mayweather had him against the ropes. You know what I mean? And you gotta be, you gotta be leery of that. You know. Uh, Lomachenko doesn't have amazing power, but his last fight was a vicious knockout on Rocky. I mean, Rocky's kind of like Rocky Martinez, like Rocky Bad Boy. Just fall like slow as a rock, <laughs> you know. Um, but at the same time, what's the South Paul? What's the South Paul killer? The right hand, right down the middle. And I think in the third round, when Lomachenko fought Rocky, he hit him with a right hand, right down the middle. But I don't know if it's Rocky in his corner just didn't have the boxing IQ and intelligence, um, the talent, the footwork to cut the ring off. I don't know if Rocky even knew Lomachenko was even bust. Because um, Jim Lampley, um, Roy Jones, Matt Kel Max Kellerman, they were all saying, like, yeah, that was a good right hand, and Lomachenko was hurt. He was, he was, he looked like he was trying to bounce it around. And, Loma, and a Rocky probably thought he was just boxing and moving. Lomachenko was buzzed, <laughs> you know, and with Nicholas Walters hitting with a right hand right down the middle, it might end the fight, you know. So he he has his has some advantages, man. He might try to use his jab to the body, you know what I mean, or the right hand right down to the body when you got that range, got that that reach advantage. Only thing about that is, especially because usually you fight an orthodox fighter, you try and jab down to the body. Or come, with, you know what I mean. Usually, usually, if you jab right right hand to the body, they try to come down with the right hand over the top. But well, if you're fighting a southpaw like Lomachenko, we go back and look at Floyd. Maybe other fought Zab Judah. He threw the right hand to the body, didn't <laughs> right hand to the body. He didn't keep his hand up, and he got countered with a right hook. Now I thought that was a knockdown. You know what I mean? In Floyd Mayweather's career. Uh, uh, Richard Steele, the referee, said it wasn't. So Lomachenko, I mean, um, Walters has to be careful of that. I know you got you got the, the the reach, but you know with Lomachenko's hand speed and his timing, you know if you try to go to the mount, always jab to the body. I think so, right hand to the body, but you got to keep your hand up and protect the house. He's gonna hit you with a right hook, pow, get you off balance. You know, and if you look at Nicholas Walters, he's kind of. Like Sergey Kovalov, you know, Jim Lampley, that they just mentioned over the weekend, you know, he has a wide stance. You have that wide stance, you're able to generate a lot of power. You know what I mean? That's what power punches do. You get that wide stance. You can really rotate the hips, keep the guys at, your, at the end of your punches, 
say you can generate a lot of power like that. The right hand, the left hook, uppercuts as well. Generate a lot of power with the wide stance. The negative of having a wide stance is it limits your uh, mobility. You know what I mean? You, you can be off balance. You know what I mean? Things like that. But with Nicholas Walters, there are two things that he trusts. He trusts his power and he trusts his chin. You know, you look at when um, he fought Nolito Donaire. He trusted his chin. You know, he figured, well, if you land a shot on me, I trust my chin. But I've got enough power to it. If I land a shot on you, if we trade and exchanges, my power is going to knock you backwards. I, mean, I might even hurt you. I might even drop you. You know, and that's the things that, that he trusts. Now, with Lomachenko, he has to be careful trying to... Cause he, he has a shorter reach. He's a smaller man. You know, he has great timing. But being able, he, he does it very well, being able to control the distance. Because if he tries to throw, trying to throw a jab, Nicholas Walters, man, he's got a quick right right uppercut. That's Vic Darcini. <laughs> That's Nonito Donat. <laughs> he's got a big right uppercut. So he's got to be careful with that. Especially when he has an almost an 8-inch disadvantage in reach. When you think, okay, I got him in range. Or, bow, you catch... Uppercut right up the middle or the straight right hand the fight could be over You know, so Should be a good fight man. Great fight Um, if anybody gets knocked out, I think it'll be Lomachenko But I, I think the fight will go the distance And uh, this, this is gonna be a tough I, I don't think Because I, I know um Walter Walters has had the, well, basically almost a year layoff like around 11 months almost a year layoff when he fought Sosa um, that was a tough inside kind of fight. I don't think Nicholas, um, I don't think Lomachenko is, is going to allow the, the fight to, to be that way. He's going to use his feet, try and boxing move because he tries to turn it into an inside fight. Nicholas Walters is too big, too strong, too much punching power. I, I, I don't think Lomachenko wants to get in those, but sometimes you, you get forced in those kind of fights and you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I don't think Lomachenko wants to do that. I don't think he's been in the ring with anyone who has the type of power that Nicholas Walters had. Because Nicholas, Nicholas Walters is coming. Now, when Lomachenko's last fight with uh, with Rocky, he was the aggressor for the majority of the fight coming forward. Could be risky with a guy who almost has an 8-inch reach advantage on you. Could be risky. I mean, you, you walking right in, walking right into, wow, he catch you with a right hand right down the middle. Especially with somebody with Axe Man power. But I just think the skill set, the footwork, the hand speed, Picasso, I just think he's going to outpoint Walters to a decision. I think a, a, a unanimous decision. But there's going to be some times in there where Walters is going to have, you know, he's going to come. Um, it's going to pretty decently cut the ring off and land some big shots on Lomachenko to the body. You know what I mean? Uh, Lomachenko's chin might get tested because Rocky Martinez buzzed him. You know, if he buzzed him, Nicholas Walters can knock you out. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Chinko. Unanimous decision, but there's going to be some rounds in there. We might get buzzed or get some body shots and he's going to survive the rest because he has the footwork to do it the rest of the round. You know, I mean, things like that. But I, I got Lomachenko winning a unanimous decision. He, he, I think he's going to outbox Walters. But that that reach advantage to go along with the power could be dangerous for Lomachenko. Let me know what you guys think on all, all my boxing heads, man. This your boy, The Real McCoy, man. Uh, all my boxing heads. Um, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out, man. Peace.